Hey y'all, this is Dana. Welcome to my channel. I'm back with the next easy, super easy five minute craft fair idea. Um, I am just making post-it note holders. As you see here, it's a super simple, but really pretty. Let me show you what this one looks like. I have to order some more of these clear bags. Um, I'll probably place an order on clearbags.com, but we took some chipboard, covered it with some scraps of paper, this is a great scrap buster for you. Um, and I just added some post-it notes on there and I purchased these sweet little clips off of Amazon. I'll link them below. Um, that way, if you're interested in these, um, they're beautiful. There's like 30 that come in a pack and it was, let's say, I think they were less than eight bucks. Don't quote me on the price, but I'll link it below. But anyway, super easy, good idea. You can add a cute little ribbon on the top if you wanna decorate it up. But this is a great thing for you to do in your craft fair. I think that the I think I've done post-it notes in the past. I've always put them three dollars or two for five, and they have sold just well. And um, I am going to be packaging them just in little clear bags, and I'm going to package them with a small mini pen. Now I got my pens last year at Party City, um, so a party store had these. And so that's where I got them. I have also seen them at Walmart. And I'm not sure if they're a Dollar Tree. I've never seen them there, but we could always check that out. So anyway, we're just gonna put one together. Got my sister here with me tonight again. Y'all, if you saw our video earlier, hope you check it out. We did a live video. Yes, we did. I think we had a few people laughing, but yes, <laughs> we just, we're having a fun time. Okay, so let's get busy on this. So we have, um, I've already cut the chipboard and it's three and a half square. So three and a half by three and a half. That's all you're gonna need. My sister was sweet to cut my paper at three and a half square. So you need two pieces. You're gonna need a clip that matches. I'm gonna use a green one. And you're gonna need some kind of adhesive. So anyway. And that is it. And like I said, I'm going to order more clear bags in this nice little size here. When I get them, I'll let y'all know um, if you're interested in the size. But yeah, these measure, let me see the size. These bags measure like four and three fourths by maybe five and a half. So they're not very tall, but it will fit these perfectly. That way your pen doesn't get lost. Okay, so sis. We are first going to now put our tape around the, all the edge of our chipboard. You can use a different adhesive if you want to use glue. Um, I'm just using this uh, sticky thumb tape runner. Okay, let's see how you're doing over here, sis. Okay, so put a little bit in the center that'll hold it down, and then you're just going to Take your paper, put it over the chipboard, kind of line it up in the center the best that you can. If there's a little brown showing, don't stress over it. Nothing is perfect. Flip it over. We're going to put some on the other side. All right. Okay. Got it going here, y'all. Just remember if you're using a directional print, um, like if this was a nice directional print, you want to make sure like the paper you put on the other side is going in the same direction. So yes. anyway, I'm just going to flip this over. Okay, let's see what yours look like, sis. Bobby okay, pins. over here. Okay, so she's using bobby, bobby pins, pins on, one. on one side. Yeah. Oh, sorry about that, y'all. Okay, she's using okay. bobby pins, and then she's doing one that's got this sweet little um, makeup paper. And all these just came out of the scrap bin. It's a great way for you to use your scrap paper. We get this adhered down. How easy is this? Then you're going to take some post-it notes. I got these post-it notes at Costco. I think I paid $15 for the pack. Are you peeling it off? Remember I said, <laughs> she's peeling it off, y'all. Like I said, nothing is perfect. We are not perfect, we just do our best. 
So anyway, I'm just going to take some post-its. Do you want this pink one since Ooh, that's kind of yes. pinky? Thank you. Okay, and then what I did is the post-it notes, of course, come thicker. But I found with these clips, I'm putting a whole one in there. Um, actually, the clip wouldn't work. It was too, it was too, wouldn't open wide enough. So that's why I'm going to just kind of split them. That way these can just be refillable. If you want to like, if you want to make this and just maybe add the extra part on the behind, that way they have a refill, that would actually work too. So that way it comes with two post-it notes. So all you're going to do is you're going to put your post-it note on the front. How simple is this? I think I'm going to use a blue one on there. And then, voila, super simple little clipboards. Those are so cute. So cute. And you're going to pair it with a little pen. I've got to invest in some more little pens, but we've got some little pens here. So what I would do is I'm going to put it down in my little package. Oh, and it will look. look like this. This is how I'll package them. You can make a topper on here if you want. Um, but, yep. This is what they'll look like. How easy is this? Add a cute so little bow. Simple. Hey, let's add bows on these. See what they look like. Let me grab a bow. Don't leave it. Wow. Hang on, y'all. Okay, so I'm going to see. Okay, you need a pink, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to see if you need a pink. Isn't that cute? Just make us some, like a small bow or see what you think looks, what it all looks, you know. Let's see. This one's got glitz on it. Okay, so I've got some red, which would work well for this. Got some like this kind. I think I'm just gonna use like maybe a, okay, I'm gonna use some of the, some ribbon here. Okay, let me grab the scissors so we can cut this. Okay, here, you can cut. Wow. Okay. Okay, so come over here so, so everybody can see what you're doing here. Okay. Okay, so you can actually, let's see how, oh, I see th these have little holes. Let's see what this will look like if we put the little ribbon through the hole to tie it on. Oh, I think that would be a great idea. Oh, Let's yes. just try it and just see how well, that would work. That way yeah, it would not that. come off. I'm going to see what that looks like. Or if you wanted to make it like a little pom-pom or some kind of little tassel or something. Just a little decoration. That'd be good. Is that one too wide? This one's a little too wide for the hole. But I think if we just do like something this like a little simple, just a little simple I think we bow. need smaller ribbon. Okay, so we'll get you some smaller ribbon. But see, I think the small oh, ribbon would actually. I like that one. The smaller ribbon would actually work. The small ribbon would be perfect. Okay, we're gonna get my. I'm gonna get my sister some smaller actually, ribbon. Actually, we can use that one too. Which one? This the red? red one. Oh, you sure could. Yeah, because you we have red lips. Okay, that works. So yeah, decorate these up any way you want. Ooh, just uh, just great. kind of make it kind of fun. And um, yep. I have all the other kind of post-it note holders that I used for last year. I still have a few of these left, a uh, few of those left, and I will put those in my craft fair as well. But I am going to do um, all of these. As you see, I've already got a bunch of chipboard already cut, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to have to play with the bow. I want to make sure that it's cute, and it's kind of going berserky on me. But yeah, <laughs> anyway, this was super easy, super fast. How easy is this? And let me just tell you one more thing. So I calculated earlier how much I paid for the post-it notes at Costco. You pro you might be able to get cheaper post-it notes, like a Dollar Tree. Um, but if you want to get them, I got mine at Costco. And they were $15 for the pack. And when I calculated um, the 24 that came in there, um, it came out to like 66 cents, right? Right. Oh, sorry about sorry. that, y'all. Sorry about that. Uh, um, so anyway, but it came out oh, about 66. It came out about 66 cents. 
And then, so then you have to think how much were the clips were, and I think it came out to maybe about, maybe maybe about 10 cents a piece. It was real low. And then by the time we added in, um, just to the clipboard, so I think it took like maybe, if you're adding in, maybe a dollar to make. I think you could do $3 or two for five on these for your craft fair, and I think that that would, um, they would probably do really well. You don't have to add a bow, you could add a, something else or you can actually just leave it plain just like we did these because all they are is mini clipboards for your post-it notes but anyway what do y'all think y'all hope you guys enjoyed this hope these you guys are fun are, to make hope yep yeah, it, it's fun so hope you enjoyed this hope you have an awesome awesome night and we will see you back soon see you later bye, bye, -bye.